<laughs> good morning. Hello, good afternoon. We are raising the water hardness on the hot tub today because every time I do the pH strip, everything looks pretty perfect i'm pretty proud of myself my water is crystal clear even having it for two almost two weeks now i was not expecting to be that on it however the water hardness is a little off to me it's a little off and i don't like not getting a perfect score i don't like getting an almost perfect score you know what i'm saying honey oh oh yeah yeah he knows yeah yeah so I did a bunch of research and I found that if your water hardness levels are low it can actually cause erosion in your machine like in the pump and the tubing and all of that it can deteriorate your hot tub I don't want that happening to my baby girl my baby girl my precious pride and joy so um, I, I don't know if this is gonna work but this is my first attempt at raising the water hardness and granted it's not that soft like some people have it a lot softer gotta check your area but it's like almost to the level that i want it almost so it needs to be at least 120 ppm whatever the fuck that means and this thing says that it needs it will raise the calcium hardness 7 ppm in 500 gallons of water one fluid ounce will raise the calcium hardness 7 ppm in 500 gallons of water gonna do some maths here gotta do some quick math so mine is at 50 i need it at 120 that's 70 that's a 70 ppm that I need to raise it. Therefore, 70 divided by 7 is 10 ounces in a 500 gallon tub of water. However, my Coleman Salyus Spa inflatable tub is 250 gallons of water. So then I need half that amount. So 10 ounces divided by 2 is 5 ounces. We need to add 5 ounces of this Leisure Time Calcium Booster to get the result that we want. I think I'm going to add maybe one extra ounce because it can be anywhere in that above 120 range and I think I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm gonna add six ounces. Hey, leave my plant alone. My child is attacking my other child. Leave my plant alone, Tom Collins. Okay, so anyway, this is very poisonous so I'm gonna use it in my cooking cup, my cooking measuring cup. <laughs> Cause yeah, you know, what could go wrong? Baby, are you thirsty? I brought you a drink. There you go. Yum yum for your tum tum. I think she likes it. Okay, so that has to be on an hour or two. And then we can check it again. Update, uh, it's been almost two hours now and the bubbles turned off on their own. Oh, I don't know why. I guess that's a thing. I've never tried leaving them on for over an hour before, but I guess they do shut off. I don't know at what point they shut off, but they shut off. But regardless, let's recheck the pH balance and see if the water hardness went up. Okay, okay. I think it's getting a little closer to where it needs to be, yeah. Hello, good day to you, fine people of the party channel. First off, I would like you to know that it's been quite a party this morning. I Tried to pop this pimple, which I thought was gonna be a quick job. It looked like a small whitehead. Thought it was gonna be gone, bye-bye. But instead it decided to bleed everywhere and now it's like this bright red underneath the skin color. So we're, that's fun, we're having fun already. Here's a quick update of where all the cats currently are in the house. And here's a plant. All right, on to the next party. We're gonna go check the pH balance in the inflatable tub. And then I have to put wood oil on that lounge chair that I bought last week. I didn't know this, but I read the instructions after a week and it said, upon taking out of the box, please put wood oil on it immediately. So I sent my husband to the store to get wood oil. And now we will do that. We will be wood oiling today. Did I not say it was a freaking party? Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, it's bright out here. Holy fuck. Well, that's why we have an umbrella. Let's see, listen, it's a chic wife summer. We're shaking in the shade, or we're not shaking. Check it out, check it out, check it out. The water hardness is a much better color now. Um, I 
think it could still stand. I don't know if you can tell very much, but I think it could still stand to go up a little bit. Yeah, like maybe a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty good. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's like the perfect color. It's been almost two weeks. And this water is crystal clear. I need to check the filter. Probably either tomorrow or the next day. Um, I want to see what happens if I don't check it for a week. Like how bad does it get? I can already see like a lot of hair around it. So that's, that's nice. I want to see how long it can go. Like how long do I, does, until it really needs to be cleaned? Hello, hello hot mama. Um, are you ready to get oiled? Hot chair summer, hello. It says in the instructions not to do this in the direct sunlight or in the heat. And this kind of was in the direct sunlight and it's very hot out. But like also like I'm really impatient and I don't, if I, for, if I don't do this now, like I'm gonna forget to do it. And then it's gonna get dirty and then I'll have to clean it and then I'll have to wait six to eight hours and then I'll have to oil it. Yeah, we're just gonna do it now and I'm sorry. Sorry if that's not the way you like it, but that's the way it's going to be. Can I dance for you? Would that be By the way, I figured out where this light goes. It's going to be a party tonight. Okay, a couple of updates. One, I did end up adding more water hardener to my spa and we'll see what happens with the PPM. Two, a lot of you were right when I did that vlog earlier where I thought I had a hole in the lid because it was deflating. It was completely deflated. Like it just felt like so soft last night to the point where it couldn't stand up straight. It kept flopping over into the pool when I was in there. But I went out there today and it was completely inflated again. Like it was taut. It's a very taut lid. So, science, man. I have some qualms, okay, with that lounge chair and the wood oil process. The audacity that you're gonna make me pay for an item and then require me to do manual labor with that item. I don't like it. No, I don't like it. I don't, I do not, I do not like it. Like, yes, there's a certain level of maintenance involved with every piece of furniture. For example, this couch, I vacuum it once a week because of pets. And obviously the hot tub requires a certain level of maintenance, but I enjoy that. I guess I was just caught off guard. I like to just know what I'm getting into ahead of time. And I've never had a live wood piece of furniture that you need to oil once or twice a year or more. I don't know how often you oil it. I don't know, I don't know any of these things. I've never had that. This is, I'm new. Hello, I'm new. I'm not Nikki Limo and I'm new. And I don't like it. No, my hands feel weird. It got all over my cement. It didn't stain, I was worried about that. It did not stain, at least the type of oil that we have. And supposedly this oil seals as well. It, it like oils it and then it seals it and protects it. I don't know though, man. I don't know. We'll see, I guess, when it rains. Another thing is the rag that I use. It told me to use a rag to apply it. Uh, the rag has little fuzzies on it and the fuzzies got everywhere. I will say though, it is way smoother with the oil on it. Like it was pretty rough sitting down on it before. Like the texture of it was like rough on my skin, but now it's like very smooth. And so I'm kind of excited to chill in there. So that's a plus, but like, why did I have to do it? Like, why didn't it just come like that? Like, I don't care, polish it, weatherproof it. I don't, come on, bruh, bruh, just polish it. I don't, I don't wanna deal with you. And that's, and that's it. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I will, I won't, I'm done. I'm not gonna talk shit about that lounge chair or the process anymore, I'm done. But now you know, you know how I feel. I said what I said. That being said, she is pretty and she's very smooth to sit on, so. Okay. It's a party channel. Look at this party animal right here. Cece, calm down. You're having way too much fun. You're having way too much fun. Her little toes. <laughs> her little feet are so short for her body. I've never seen a cat with such short feet. She reminds me of a Pusheen cat. Hi, I love you. <laughs> You're so sweet. Hi, silly. What a cute girl. What a cute girl. Huh, yeah, you're a sweetie. You're a sweetie. Hello, update. It's later now, and we're gonna watch the season finale of the season of Survivor that we are on. It is a two-hour finale, and we are watching it 
from our own island. I'm waiting on Steve to finish eating. Um, so I thought I would take this time to see if I could get this LED light to work because it's a party channel, bitch. God, I'm so sorry, you're not a bitch. So I watched a video and according to the video, this little area where the bromine currently is, the, these are where the bromine tablets are stored, attaches onto the wall right here. You can easily twist it off. The bromine tablets are in here. Um, I guess they can float around like that. I just got a, a little rubber ducky thing that holds bromine tablets to possibly replace it, but we'll see. Um, okay, so apparently this thing screws off. I had no idea. This thing looks like it's heavily attached or like you shouldn't mess with it, but they said counterclockwise you could unscrew this and then this screws into that, so. Shall we? I don't have anything to hold the camera up, so I'm just gonna, are you okay? I'm just gonna leave you like that. Are you, you're fine, right? Okay, update. If this thing does unscrew, it will require a pair of pliers because my hands are way too slippery underwater. It's just not budget, not even a little bit, not at all. We will try again another time. Let's postpone the party. Let's do it right. I got a blister on my thumb from trying to unscrew that thing to plug in the party light last night. <laughs> it's a party channel. Can I do